Uh, now, uh, Mark, some of the um, notable parts of the bill that I picked up on there, a ban on homeschooling for children except in the cases of severe health problems, and any institution that seeks public funds will have to sign a charter uh, pledging to uphold values of secularism. They were a couple of... That's fantastic. I love that. Oh, my God, Macron. Thank you so any much. Any institution that seeks public funds will have to sign a charter... Uh, yeah, any institution that wants pub uh, public funding... Pledging to uphold values of secularism. That's they have to uh, sign a charter that pledges that they will uphold the values of secularism. Oh, my God. That's so... <laughs> that is so beautiful. I love it so much. Um, that is amazing. Guys, this is, again, it's about public funding. The government doesn't owe you money unless you are promoting the values that makes the country a better place. So it's not about the government banning anything. It's like you don't owe, the government doesn't owe you money, especially if you're being destructive to society, right? There were a couple of things that stuck out for me. What about, what about you? Yes, I mean, first of all, uh, before getting into the details, because yeah. it's quite a detailed uh, speech in terms of uh, policy content. I mean, he's laying out all the steps, the words. Are very By the way, uh, yeah, Deborah is saying I had to homeschool. Deborah was, uh, is, is, she's an ex-Muslim, and she was like radicalized. Um, you know, she had to homeschool her children. I think, right? Yeah, people like this. Important uh, because Emmanuel Macron has been dithering essentially on how to name things and how to address them. Today he says, okay, we're going to do some straight talking and some straight. Uh, actions as well so uh, the straight talking uh guys you know this is actually goes gonna go beyond France okay if this is if this is if what he does works I don't know what will happen but like he's like normalizing it right because usually like stuff like this people think it comes from Poland or Hungary or stuff like that and people are like yeah those are like you know far-right governments or whatever but this is like Macron represents like the mainstream you know, liberalism, right? Like the sane liberalism, right? So if he does this, like he might n normalize this, this kind of attitude globally, right? Because a lot of, especially a lot of liberals like this guy, right? Uh, and they look up to him as a role model for what, you know, I know, I, I know a lot of people hate him, right? But a lot of liberals also like him. So, I mean, even if he is like, done a lot of mistakes i know a whole bunch of like yes yellow jackets or whatever yeah yeah okay i know all about that right but again this helps a lot with normalization of being a little bit bolder when it comes to values that are destroying your society uh, he said the problem is not secularism in france no uh, he said this is our values this is not the problem the problem is what he described as islamist separatism he repeated the word several uh, times. He also uh, talked about radical Islamism, uh, and he added uh, that uh, this was something that needed uh, to be addressed uh, head on. And obviously, it's a very difficult uh, issue, a sensitive issue, because uh, there is, uh, as he said, you know, a willingness to, yes, address the issue head on, but the, on the other side, not stigmatize the Muslim. You hear that, guys? You hear that? He wants to address the problem head on, but he also mentioned that he wants to make sure that he doesn't stigmatize Muslims. I wonder why, I wonder why this guy didn't feel the need to include that part. Maybe he could have included it, but they also say, yeah, why, why he thinks that's nonsense and he doesn't really mean it or something like that. But he didn't do that. He just didn't include it. He just didn't include it. And, and he said, we're not trying to ban religion as well. He said that. No, he said, we're not. he said, we're not trying to ban religion. Why did he not include that part? We're not trying to ban religion. We're essentially trying uh, to organize against what he described in much detail as a secretive plot by some uh, radical Islamist to by a secretive plot by some radical Islamists. Very specific. That's very specific. But they might, they like, oh yeah, he's covered. Oh, the boogeyman, Muslims are the boogeyman. Does it seem like Macron was saying that? Seems very, very specific. Again, his own speech is like one hour long, so I'm, um, but you could go watch all of that. But this guy is summarizing the main points. Essentially, hold on, let me see what they're saying. 
Nope, you guys are idiots. Uh, uh, Let me see. Yeah, you guys. Oh yeah, let's fight against Islam by destroying secularism in India. Look, Rahul, is, Rahul, you're a moron. Saying, and this is why Macron is too soft. Macron should take note from India to demolish, uh, demolish mosque. You know, no. You know, India is demolishing India. Okay, that's what you're doing. You're taking, you're ruining, you're Pakistanizing India. Okay, you're basically becoming more and more like Pakistan every day because of your fear of Islam. You guys are doing everything wrong when it comes to fighting Islam. Your country is becoming a worse place because of you de destroying your secular values because of your fear of Islam. Okay. It, you should be, you should fear Hinduism more than you fear Islam because your country is being ruined from within because of this how much scared you are of Islam. Okay, Islam doesn't even have to ruin your country. You're ruining your Islam doesn't have to ruin India. You're ruining India. Okay, you're ruining your your own country by demolish by destroying all of its secular values. Everything that made India better than Pakistan, you're removing that. So congratulations, you're becoming a Hindu version of Pakistan. Enjoy. Attract, especially uh, young people who feel disenfranchised and attract them to what he deems as an ideological core that is contrary to the values of the Republic. And he says, we need to bring those children back into uh, the fold. And he said, yeah, okay. France has all back those he says we need to bring those Wait, children back yeah, the uh, children. young people who feel disenfranchised and attract them to what he deems as a ideological core that is contrary to the values of the republic and he says we need to bring those children back into uh, the fold and he said France has also made some major mistakes. He said we didn't address uh, the issues, especially of. Uh, See, they didn't include this part, right? Macron said that France has made some major mistakes, and they were like, "Oh, why are they blaming Islam? They made mistakes." Yeah, they're, they, you know, unlike you, they say that they make mistakes. They acknowledge their own mistakes. They try to do better. You think Islam can do nothing, no wrong, and that's that's what makes Islam law worse, right? That's what makes your religion so. That's what makes Hinduism, Islam, and Christianity and Judaism so bad because you can you can never admit that there's some problems with it. That's why you can never grow. That's why you always b stay behind from the rest of the world because you think everything is perfect about your religion. Okay, Macron is saying like, look, we did some mistakes. We need to do better, and you don't even you don't even highlight that. You you cowards, this coward acts like he went and highlighted some of their mistakes and he doesn't even acknowledge that Macron highlighted some of the mistakes that they made. Let me see what this guy is saying. Uh, RY2K saying Rahul is, is moron. What Modi is doing is targeting judicial system to the ground not only for Muslims but also for Hindus in the last few months. I can give you several examples. Well if you want me to review anything like this Go to our Discord server, link is in the description. And there's a channel on our Discord server called Video Recommendation. And post any recommendations that you want me to review over there. But it has to be a good video, it has to be shorter than 15 minutes. And it has to be something that uh, is clearly a good video for us to review. Like any, you know, any video that does it, you know, it needs to be clear. Uh, suburban areas where people were essentially. And it needs to be in English put together and we didn't mix quote unquote them enough and yeah see this is he he knows what the problem is okay the muslims in france are not mixed with the rest of the society okay this is the main problem how do you address this okay when you if you look at the muslims in the united states they they feel like they're americans the muslims in the united states they feel like they're americans they want to be Americans. They call themselves Americans. The Muslims in Canada, they feel like they're Canadian. If you're a Muslim and you're, and you're a citizen of Canada, you consider yourself to be Canadian and you want to be Canadian. You're happy to be Canadian. You feel like you're Canadian. But the Muslims in France, they don't consider themselves to be French. I mean, a lot of them. 
Yeah, again, Deborah is saying not all. Yeah, I know. In G I'm more so than France. Obviously not all. Nothing, nothing I'm saying is all. But thank you, Deborah, for reminding me. I should say not all. Okay? But a lot of, again, not all, a lot of Muslims in France, way more than Canada and the United States, they don't feel like they're French. They don't feel like this is their country. They don't think like this is their homeland. Okay? And this is basically how you have segregated society with different values and growing s next to each other in two completely different directions. This is a major problem. This is how you get division. This is how you get two class system. And you know in whose interest it is that societies are not segregated like this? That Muslims are not segregated like this? It's the interest of Muslims! Muslims and Muslims themselves would benefit if they feel like this is home! The Muslims in the United States and Canada have it, a have it a lot better. They feel more at home than the Muslims in France. This is in the best interest of the future generation. Macron is concerned about the... The baby Muslims growing up, they he doesn't want these are like these are our citizens. We don't want them to feel alienated. If you keep growing them in these bubbles separate from the rest of the society, they're not gonna feel like this is their country. They don't feel like they think like they have different values from the rest of the country. We don't these are our citizens. We have to protect them. We have to feel it make them feel like they're this is home, that this is the country, that this government represents them. You cannot, we cannot lead, lead, let these parents shield them from the rest of France. This is in the best interest of those, the Muslim babies. I mean, Muslim babies. There's no such thing as Muslim babies. I'm just being, I'm just joking, okay? Ba babies of Muslim parents. Okay, I know, I know, don't, I know some of you are like, Ah, Armin, what are you, Muslim babies? What are you talking about? There's no such thing. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I, stop, stop, I know, stop, type. Stop you! Stop typing. I know. I know. The place where he's speaking from Le Miro is in. Okay. Yeah, Janky is saying, "Don't shout! Don't! don't I'm gonna shout!" Again, every time somebody complains that I don't, I'm gonna shout every time you complain. Okay. Illustration of that. He said we failed on this issue. We have to know this. He also talked about the colonial past and uh, not being addressed head on. And he said this whole. It's talking about the colonial past, like, oh yeah, we have some of these problems is because of the past that we had to deal with. Like, look, the same stuff that the guy was saying, that he's saying himself. The whole mixture of things has led to the current situation, and then he laid out uh, what <laughs> I like the people who are doing <laughs> the uh, demo of me yelling <laughs> in the live chat every time. <laughs> uh, guys, I wish I could highlight it on stream yet. I can't. Every time I highlight it, it looks like this. But it looks so cool, and I see it on my phone. You described as measures in school, 